You are amazing. Oh my gosh, looking good. I love working with you. Working with you is such a pleasure. I love your hair. Where did you get those shoes? Ah, oh, they are amazing. How do you feel? I just gave you a bunch of compliments. Did you like wanna crawl up and hide inside? Or were you like, yes, tell me more? So how we reply or respond to compliments is actually a hidden social skill, a hidden social hack. And I wanted to break down how we should reply to compliments. There is a way to do this authentically. The worst thing you can do when you get a compliment is, oh no, 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 that's not true. Why? One, it makes you look ungrateful. You just got complimented. And second, you're basically telling the other person they're wrong. So don't refuse your compliments. Don't uh, refute your compliments. I actually want you to first, this is option number one, is be grateful. So very simply, oh, thank you so much. Oh, you're so kind, thank you. So gratitude is always a great first response and I love it. This also shows them I'm taking it in and I'm grateful for you. So telling them they're so kind, telling them they're grateful, that's the first way I like to respond to compliments. The second way you can consider replying to compliments is to be a little cheeky, to be a little bit funny. So this is actually inspired by Amelia Clark. She took a compliment on Good Morning America and hear how she replied. In your movie last Christmas, he said you were just a ray of sunshine to work yeah. on the set. We I paid him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're in a group setting and someone's saying something nice about you, you can use this as a funny line. So, oh my gosh, I paid you so well. I paid you to say that. I paid him to say that. Oh, wow. Great. I'll send your check in the mail soon. This is kind of a cheeky way to just make people laugh and also uh, be humble and modest without saying, oh no, no, that's not true. So I paid him or I wrote that for him or I told him to say that. So one of the things that I will sometimes do is after um, someone reads my bio on stage, which you know talks about all my accomplishments and it makes me super uncomfortable inside, but I have to just like stand there and be like, mm -hmm. it's very awkward to be there while someone's reading your bio. And sometimes I'll come up on stage and I'll be like, I, I didn't write that. I didn't write that. Or or I paid him to say that. I, I paid him to say that. Or he had to say that. Or um, she was forced to read that. So, well, yeah, right? So you can also make fun of yourself by uh, using that line from Amelia Clark. Last option you can do, which is also kind of cheeky and funny, is to take it and then ask for more. So if someone's saying nice things about you, especially if they said more than one or two nice things, is you can do the opposite and say, oh, keep going. Keep going, tell me more. Oh yes, keep going, keep going. This is a really funny way to take a compliment because you're going the other way and it also calls gently to attention that they're almost complimenting you too much. So it's a really funny thing. It makes you look like you're uh, rolling with the flow and it's a really easy thing to do. I actually learned this one from Kevin Hart. He did an interview with Tony Robbins and uh, Tony Robbins was reading Kevin Hart's amazing bio and uh, he says, you know, comedian, actor, and then Kevin interrupts him and goes, and model, and model, model. So Kevin Hart was sitting there taking his intro, which is always so awkward, and he just added to it with a ridiculous thing about being a model. It so worked, it made him uh, in on the joke, everyone laughed, and so you can also just lean into the compliment to, to make it seem even funnier. So here are all your options. Really number one is I wanna make sure that you don't refute them, that you always take them in gratitude, and then if you want to, you can always be a little bit cheeky. Bonus tip in this video, the last thing I'll end on is, it's always nice to be a complimenter. So if you're watching this video, do you have an authentic or genuine compliment you can give someone else? It's always nice to be the complimenter. I prefer it than receiving compliments. And so the other way that you can get less compliments yourself is just be the first one to compliment someone else. So if you see something you like, hear something you like, if you like working with someone, go tell them right now. Go text someone that you like them. Go text someone that they're awesome. Go text someone that, that they inspire you. The more that we can compliment others, I think the more joy we spread in the world. I started this video on a compliment. I'm gonna end this video on a compliment, which is I am so grateful for you. I am so grateful for you clicking on this video, giving it a watch. I'm grateful for your like if you're willing to give it. I love this job. I love doing these videos for you and I hope you find them helpful. So I'm grateful for you. I think you're awesome for watching this video and I can't wait to see how it helps you. Don't forget to check out all of these goodies.
comments on the wall. Mm. Have to outro this video.